Hello guys, in this video I will be repeating all the things we talked about in the first lecture and even though it will be a series for the beginner in Revit for beginner in architectural Revit uh, of course at the beginning when I open my program I do have models open and new and these are like AutoCAD if you want to open your recent file and at the same time you do have them in here this is our recent files and you do have uh, the new button, which is will enable you to, to open a new project, either architectural, construction one, structural, etc. And we do have something called families and again open and new. And we say that families are, you could consider it as blocks, but in Revit we call it families. So I will open a new and then directly choose metric architectural template and then project of course and then say okay when you open your project maybe you will you will just see your project browser in this place what i said is just please bring your project browser in into this place so what are these things i can see at the beginning you can see this ribbon we call it ribbon okay and, and inside of this ribbon, we do have something called architectural tab, structural tab, steel tab, precast tab, etc. And you do have something called panel, which is build panel, circulation panel, model panel. And inside of these panels, you do have your commands. You do have walls, doors, windows, etc. As you see, we do have this line we call it a quick access toolbar i don't actually care now about the names of these panels and tabs and etc what i do care is just to know you guys how to reach to your command i mentioned that you do have this little arrow in here you could make it above it in this place or click it again show below below the ribbon we do have also the properties and the project browser the project browser is something related to your project what do i mean all the things are related to your project so in in revit we do have some levels so i could see my levels in my project browser let me show you so we do have in this place the uh, levels i do have and now if I if I click or new make a new new level it will be appear in here so it will be level 3 level 4 etc do not use ceiling plans be careful you could directly just click this minus so you will just uh, hide it do not use ceiling plan instead of floor plans and we do have some elevations so we do have east north south west and later on maybe you could add you could add some elevation, but we don't need it. And we will have some sections and all the things related to your project will appear in your project browser. What do we have in the properties? We do have the thing related to the command itself. Now we do have some comments, of course, related to the project itself. But when I open wall, for example, these properties will be related to the command itself and even though we do have this little option we call it option option line let's say also the same comments or the same information will be so we do have this unconnected which is in here we do have this 8000 which is in here we do have this location line again later on we will uh, speak about or talk about all this uh, details maybe so as i say when you open any command it will be related to this command so when i open wall it became wall and with this it's with with its information when i open window it became a window with its information and again the same things so let's talk about how to move before entering or how what is the first step to do in our project we say to click un un for unit project unit okay so we said we will enter un un and then go to something called length change it to centimeter 
and this will be our unit inside our project so how to move or how to navigate inside this program you could directly scroll up and down to zoom in and out and you can directly just click the scroll button okay and just keep selecting it and move it so it will become a hand like a hand let's uh, draw a wall little wall for example in here zoom in and out zoom in and then keep clicking and just make it as a hand if i open my 3d we can see that i said we have to click shift and the scroll button in order to orbit we call it orbit around if you do have for example i do have one wall and then another wall another wall and i open my 3d if i want to orbit i will orbit in the middle what about if i click one time and orbit now i'm orbit i'm orbiting around this element so click in here orbit around it click in this one orbit around it and then the same so in order to open any view double click on level one you are in level one double click on level two you are in level two what are these level one and level two we said you will open one of the elevations you will see something called level one and level two these are your levels how to add a new level we said you will click double l double l and then you will just start moving your mouse without without i mean clicking okay when i just hover over this line another line did appear as you see this dash line you see it so it means now this line are exactly at this point so click one one time do not click anything just move just move scroll up scroll down move without clicking and now click again when you see this dash line click skip now click skip again now you do have your level 3 and this in blue we will talk why i'm saying this one is in blue let's now just mention it if i want to change the name double click on it if you want to change the number or the height of this level one double click on it click for example 100 or click this one level or 101 say yes and directly i can see the change in my project browser so i did use my project browser to reach to my views these are the views i do have and i do have our 3d even 3d is from this quick access toolbar just to click this little home you will access your 3d so these are the basics how what are i mean to, how, how to work to reach to a, uh, a view we talked about walls okay i open my level one and we say the walls are or the shortcut of the wall is wa when you click wa you will directly open your command from here you could choose different type of walls you do have we choose one and we used actually the curtain walls we used in our exercise we did use the curtain walls and in this place the option one we said guys you will have the starting point when you open your north elevation for example you will have your starting point and ending point so for example i want a wall from level one let me call it level one again i want my wall to be from level one to level two so i will open my level one click wa for walls make sure that base constraint is level one and top constraint is level two create one wall skip create another wall but now make it from level 2 from level 1 to level 3 for example i could access my level 3 from here or from this place the option one so click 
again open your elevation you can see that this wall from level 1 to level 2 this wall from level 1 to level 3 I'm able to change the number for example I want it to be 800 now directly the wall make itself as 800 because this is something very helpful in Revit when you create something and you say that this wall from 1 to 2 so it means he will follow these uh, parameters we talked about wall and window we said uh, we talked about door and windows also say so I say dr is for door dr and I say just please come close just closer to the wall and then you will be able to click it when you click anything some temporary dimension will appear so I could directly click here and say 500 or click here and say 200 and these are related to the dimension not exactly not the dimension of the of the door itself the dimension I mean from this point into this door and from this point into this door and again you can see these little arrows in this wall in this door by clicking them you will be able to change the location of this door again the same with the window WN for window choose the type you want and then just come closer to door to, to wall and click the, the same thing dimension 200 and then flip flip it we talked about curtain walls we say that we do have something called curtain wall we choose a storefront and we just uh, draw it inside a wall we just touch this hidden line and click one time click the second time some student face a problem which is it will be let, let me just show you the problem they faced they faced a problem like like this when they draw this little arrow appeared which means you have to enter this wall click edit type and just click on this automatically embed check it and say okay now you will you will not face the same problem we took an exercise which is this one we said you do have some walls with this dimension it was random dimension actually and we just gave it in order to for you guys to practice it so what I did is just open my elevation I created a new level using L double L to create a new level and now uh, when and, and I went to my level one click on wall and we even talked about create similar which is to select a command and then CS for create similar and I draw some walls like this for example with this shape sorry so when I created these walls and I, I, I even mentioned this this thing which is just to hover over something and click tab in order to select any, everything and now click your mouse to select them we said that you could mention or play around with the height of these walls which is to make it to level 2 or hover over tab click to make it to level 3 and the same thing happened in these walls this was from level 2 to 3 this was from level 1 to 2 and that's how we made this mass we open again level 1 we draw let me just use CS again CS for create similar I draw this little this little door and it was something like this it was something like this what I did is just select it open I mean when you see properties just click on this top offset click minus for example uh, 
200. You can see just the, the door, or this, let me call it a wall, this curtain wall, it drop itself down 200 centimeter. What we did in here, we just put it 70. We put it minus 70. Minus 70. The same thing will happen if I played around with the base offset. Base offset is, for example, 200. Or base offset is minus 100. So I can see how I'm playing around with the height of this of this uh, curtain wall. For the floor and the roof. For the floor, you have to open your level you want to draw. And we say that you could reach to floor from architecture tab floor. When you open your floor, you will directly see a new tabs or new panels appear. Mood, draw, work plane. What I mentioned is this one. Just big wall. Hover over one wall. Tab, click. Say yes. Go to your 3D. You can see this, this floor. Let me make this one zero. Sorry, this one minus 70 and this one zero. And again, the same thing for this. I draw it as a floor, but I put it in level three. So I will go to level three, FL, because I did it FL before we will talk about shortcuts. Uh, or just go to just go to architecture floor big wall hover over tab click and now click ok say no for this open your 3d you will see your floor and this was i think for uh, for the first picture we said even you could open your level one there is something called section in here beside the 3d click it one click, two click, and now click skip, double click on this section, you will open your section. And that was, uh, I think, everything for the first picture. For the roof, the same thing. We open level two, for example. Open architecture, roof. Now, I will not use big wall. I will draw normal, normal drawing. I will just say like, I want a roof like this. And we say that we do have this little triangle beside each one. When we select everything in this roof, something called define slope appeared. If I uncheck it, it will go away, will, ha will, will be hidden, it, which means I didn't define slope. If I say, okay, I go to my 3D, this is my roof. Now, if I said, if I click it again, edit, footprint if i select all of them and now define slope and say okay it will be a roof like this if i select again edit and now uncheck the define slope select one of them and define slope and say okay so it will be a roof in this shape again define the slope for this one and say okay it will be something like this and that was, yes, you could. And that was everything for the first lecture.